all people can be divided into two categories. The first live and think, what does the future hold for us? While the second plan, what they expect to see in tomorrow's day. They say the second category is reliably protected from troubles, but the first category experiences more pleasant surprises. A few days ago, I was offered to watch a movie. They tried to lure me by saying that it's about magic and sorcery, about how good triumphs over evil and justice prevails. I laughed and refused. I had enough fairy tales in my childhood. I was engrossed in them. With age, it became clear. Only those who make specific efforts live well. As for the wave of a magic wand, watch it yourself, without me. And then I pondered. Not all people who work hard live well. And not everyone's life turns out exactly as they want. No matter how hard they try, nothing changes. More often than not, we experience the opposite effect. The harder you try, the less you get. Grown-up children, tired of overprotection, don't want to visit their parents. Husbands run away from excessive love and adoration from their wives. And then she says, I did so much for him. Why is he like this with me? Maybe it's the law of meanness. What you dream of will never be yours. As soon as you cool off to a dream, it's right around the corner. Or is there an invisible threshold, a plank that you can't jump over, no matter how hard you try? Or is this fate? It seems that as we grow older, we become wiser and answer all questions. But there are more and more questions, and there are no answers to them. Omar Khayyam wrote, Since the heavens decide everything, do not put even an extra crumb in your mouth. Don't be sad about what you don't have, and what you have, is it worth the trouble? There's no point in constantly straining yourself. To earn grace here, on earth, what is destined for you, you will receive no more, no less. And there's nothing to wait for. Buddhists say, not everything you dream of is really necessary for you. If nothing interesting happens in our gray everyday life, perhaps at that moment, fate is saving you from strong shocks. Would it be interesting to live if everything turned out exactly as planned? There's no secret that some get everything they didn't even have time to dream of, while fate doesn't give others what they fervently ask for. A person is born with a different degree of soul maturity. Everyone has their karmic tasks. When you can listen to your soul, intuition, or see signs from above, everything becomes possible. A mature soul is wise from birth, while a young soul is blind. Each of us must walk our own path without envy or complaint. If you go to an Indian sage and ask, why do I persistently pursue my goals? But with each passing day, I'm further and further away from them. He will answer you, loosen your grip, neurosis is not far off. Everything will be exactly as it should be. Indian wisdom. Don't rush, everything has its time. Freedom is freedom from worry. Realizing that you cannot influence the results, don't pay attention to your fears. Let them come and go. Don't fuel them with interest and attention. In reality, things happen to you, not because of you. <laughs>